A break continues in the active weather for the next couple of days across Texas, but that could be changing by Friday and Saturday, and most certainly will be changing by next week. Let's talk about it in today's Texas Weather Roundup. Hey, good morning. It is hump day, the 12th of April, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers David Reimer, and we are going to be continuing with a relatively less active stretch of weather for the next couple of days. But again, that could be changing by the end of the work week and definitely by next week, it looks like, as we enter a more conducive pattern for severe stormies and their associated mischief but we don't really need to worry about that today or tomorrow let's pop on over to the high resolution rapid refresh model for today we are going to have a few showers and storms across southeast texas the upper texas coast the piney woods of east texas and the golden triangle this afternoon through tomorrow morning some folks could pick up a quick quarter inch of rainfall but otherwise most folks in east texas are just going to be dealing with increased cloud cover today tonight into tomorrow with an upper or excuse me a surface area of low pressure across the northern Gulf of Mexico. Across the western third of Texas, we're going to see cloud cover increase tonight into Thursday as a, well, pretty much our little upper level storm system begins to approach. So while today is going to be mostly sunny, we're definitely going to see an uptick in cloud cover tomorrow, maybe a few showers across Big Bend National Park, southwest Texas, the borderland of Round El Paso, and far west Texas. We do not expect severe thunderstorms today, tonight or tomorrow. So we look ahead for the next couple of days in the wildfire department. We are going to see an uptick in the fire danger rating after several days of moderate to low fire danger. Uh, today, highest threat for wildfires, should any develop, will be across the Texas Panhandle. Tomorrow, pretty much the whole Panhandle, West Texas, and the far West Texas, Guadalupe Mounds, the Davis Mounds, the Trans-Pecos. And then on Friday, we're going to take it up another notch and return to the very high danger rating for wildfires across the borderland, the Guadalupe Mounds, the Davis Mounds, Big Bend National Park, all the way into West Texas and the Texas Panhandle with moderate fire danger rating across the remainder of the state. Although we are starting to see that become a little lower as we see the the spring green up occur especially across the eastern half of texas and in areas where we do not have severe to exceptional trout drought conditions ongoing all right as we head into friday there is the potential for isolated severe storms now let me be very clear when i say this isolated meaning we may only have a couple but those couple of storms are probably going to be dropping baseball to softball size hail the potential for a few tornadoes and damaging winds if they develop still a big if here we're going to have a pretty strong capping inversion or lid on the atmosphere but we're also going to have a very weak upper level storm system passing over the dry line friday afternoon and early friday evening and that may provide just enough lift in combination with warming surface temperatures to pop that cap in a couple of spots and if that does occur explosive thunderstorm development and severe weather is likely so friday evening could be a tale of two stories one it's warm, it's windy, it's a pretty nice day. Two, it's warm, it's windy, and someone's getting hit on the head with baseball size hail and all sorts of severe weather mischief. So this is going to be an afternoon, evening. We're going to be keeping a very close eye on as we deal with the dry line and the potential for maybe a few severe storms. Uh, same thing goes all the way up Highway 81, Interstate 35, Highway 65 slash 79. 79, let's try that again. How about 6975? Boy, do I need coffee across Oklahoma and then up into Kansas. So we'll be keeping an eye out and chasers will be out because, well, spring storms, it's kind of what we do. All right, in terms of what the dry line is going to look like on Friday and to Saturday. You can see here warm moist air, southeast winds ahead of the dry line to the east, to the west, west winds, much drier air. Cool front in name only starts pushing on in Saturday with northwesterly winds and a much drier air mass shunting that moisture rich atmosphere, air mass I should say, back down to the Gulf Coasts. 
the Gulf Coast. How about the Upper Texas Coast, the Middle Texas Coast, etc. Folks, this is why you should drink your coffee in the morning. Let me tell you, I'm not having a stroke. I'm just apparently not able to concentrate my thoughts that I've spent most of the night in uh, designing some video-related elements, so that kind of turns your brain into mush. But again, you can see here, cool front, northwest winds helping push that moisture-rich air mass back down towards the coast on Saturday. Uh, previously, we had talked about the chance for scattered showers and storms on Saturday with that cool front as it pushed into southeast Texas, the upper Texas coast, all the way down to south Texas. That doesn't look as likely now, unfortunately. We could use the rain, but at the same time, uh, still looking like the potential for a quarter inch to half inch of rain on Saturday, maybe Sunday across southeast Texas, the upper Texas coast. Maybe a dry patch across the middle Texas coast with a few showers in the Rio Grande Valley in south Texas. So in terms of the threat for heavy rainfall and flooding, that risk is coming down. Uh, still could see a few rowdy storms with some hail and gusty winds on Saturday, but the overall severe weather threat also looking lower as is the chance for widespread precipitation. All right, as we take a look at the temperature forecast over the next five days, it's gonna be pretty warm across the western third of Texas today. Those forecast numbers have come up. Middle to upper 80s to around 90 degrees, places like Dumas down to Amarillo, Lubbock down to Pecos. 80s in the Edwards Plateau into the Rio Grande Plains. As we head into tomorrow, temperatures Pretty much the same, maybe a degree or two warmer in a couple of spots. Pretty much looking at upper 70s to middle 80s across Texas. Pecos trying to pop in at 90 degrees. And here is Friday. You can definitely see where that dry line pushes east a bit because dry air heats more efficiently. You're going to see that occur west of the dry line on Friday. Upper 80s to lower 90s in places like Northwest Texas, the big country, so Vernon, Wichita Falls, down to Throckmorton, Abilene, down to Brownwood, Stephenville, all the way down to Llano, uh, Burke Burnett, you've got Uvalde, all the way down into the Edwards Plateau, Del Rio, Laredo, into the Rio Grande Plains, McAllen, over into the Rio Grande Valley, Brownsville. So again, that is the forecast for Friday. Here's Saturday. You can see the influence of that cool front starting to arrive. 60s and 70s, northwestern half of Texas. 80s and 90s with a bit of compressional heating ahead of that cool front on Saturday across the southeastern half of Texas. Sunday temperatures, generally speaking, knocked back down a couple degrees compared to 90s, uh, 70s and 80s, so definitely not talking about any sort of a big cool down with this upcoming cool front. And then here's Monday, we're going to pop right back up into the 80s to low 90s statewide ahead of what could be our next severe weather maker beginning Tuesday of next week. Already getting indications we may have some rowdy weather around Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. We'll just have to wait and see as obviously details will change. But next week is definitely looking more active in the severe weather department. And we've been pretty lucky to get a break from it for most of this week outside of Sunday. But you know what? Uh, some golf ball size hail is certainly preferable compared to, you know, softballs and tornadoes flying around as any day in the April or May could do in the state of Texas. So that being said, we'll have our next Texas Weather Roundup out by 7 a.m. Thursday. As always, you can find us in the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just head over to Texas Weather dot app in your web browser it'll take you right to the appropriate download page for your device or you can find us in your device's app store and as always texasstormchasers.com slash radar and of course we appreciate everyone who has been subscribing to us on the texas weather center youtube channel that's our main weather youtube channel these days with the main texas storm chasers channel for storm chasing videos all right y'all have a great wednesday we'll talk to you tomorrow God bless.